So we have had the release of the new Apple Silicon MacBook Pro 13 inch M1 and the Air and Mac Mini. A lot of you were disappointed not to see a MacBook Pro 14 inch model released at the latest event. Well I have some great news about the M1 14 inch MacBook Pro incoming launch. So here are all the details about design and specs and of course the Apple MacBook Pro 14 release date and price. So if you want to hear the latest gaming news, tech news, reviews and comparisons, hit that subscribe button followed by the bell. So earlier in November we saw the release of the new Apple Silicon chips, the M1, what is now inside the new MacBook Air, Mac Mini and of course the new MacBook Pro 13 inch model. Apple said in the summer that there would be a two year transition of moving all of its Macs over to its own chipsets and this includes the iMacs and the Mac Pro and the MacBook Pro 16 inch model and also a newly designed 14 inch MacBook Pro. Today I want to focus more on that MacBook Pro 14 inch. So before that I want to know from you guys, do you own a Mac at the moment and if you do, what Mac do you currently have? Or if you don't have one, are you planning on getting one anytime soon in the future? I would love to know these details, so drop them in the comments and hit that like button at the same time. Cheers! So before going on to design, release date and price, there is something I need to clear up about with specs. It is most likely Apple will keep the same specs and options that we got in the MacBook Pro M1 13 inch model. Basically what I'm saying is the new MacBook Pro 14 inch model will have the same specs as the current 13 inch M1 specs. Now the reason behind this is Apple loved to do this when they transition from an old design to a new design. History has shown us over the last 15 years or so that Apple always do this when they move from one design to another. For example if I take the last design MacBook Pro 13 inch model that came out in 2015 and this was the last of the Retina MacBook Pro that still had the usual USB-C ports and and everything was just super thin, those exact specs, so I'm talking about the processor, the RAM and the storage options, were all put into the brand new Touch Bar 13 inch MacBook Pro. There was no bump up in specs of a new Intel chipset, RAM or storage upgrades until the following year in the 13 inch MacBook Pro. Again Apple did this in 2012 for example when they transitioned from the unibody MacBook Pro, so this was the last MacBook Pro without a retina display to the retina display model and again kept the same chipsets and the same amount of RAM and the same storage options. So I think you're getting the picture here. It it is likely that the 14 inch MacBook Pro will keep the same specs as the brand new M1 chipset they currently have inside the 13 inch MacBook Pro and the same for RAM and storage options. We've got to remember one thing here guys and that is the new M1 chipset is one of the best integrated chipsets out there at the moment. It has an all-in-one package of 8-core processor, 8-core GPU, dedicated RAM and a neural engine. All of this is based on the A architecture like the A14 chipsets that we find inside the iPhone 12 and iPad Air 4. The M1 chipset is giving us faster speeds in macOS and also the ability to run iOS and iPad apps natively on your new Mac. The benchmarks for this chipset are faster than the top option 16 inch MacBook Pro that is available right now with an Intel i9 processor inside it and 64 gigabytes of RAM paired. And yet the M1 13 inch MacBook Pro with just 8 gigabytes of RAM beats the Geekbench score by quite a bit I may add as well so Apple will most likely not upgrade this chipset inside the 14 inch MacBook Pro until at least 2022. 
So for design, Minji Ku, a great Apple leaker, believes that the long rumoured 14 inch MacBook Pro will gain a completely new form factor design. The actual design of the 14 inch MacBook Pro is actually looking likely to be similar to the current 16 inch MacBook Pro that has smaller bezels around the edge of the screen and for the design to have much more of a slate look to fall in line with the new iPad Pros, Air and also the iPhone 12 and 12 Pro look. At the end of the day, Apple want their Pro line to look distinctive. It is likely we'll get a slightly larger battery inside the 14 inch MacBook Pro over the already impressive 20 hours we get with the 13 inch MacBook Pro with an M1 chip inside and this is looking likely to increase up to 22 hours of usage out of the battery with the M1 chip. Other changes most likely to see are a slight increase in the touchpad size, however the current touchpad is very generous in its size already, but it will be slightly larger. There are also rumours that the actual touch bar, so this is the interactive bar above the keyboard, will also get forced touch integration inside it. Other changes include a higher definition webcam built inside the camera setup on the MacBook Pro, but we wouldn't see Face ID as Apple are continuing to push with Touch ID in their keyboard setup, what makes sense really as this is part of the Mac what we most use. Also, to quash any rumours out there, the actual screen of the MacBook Pro will not have any touch sensitive ability, as Apple believe this is what you'd use an iPad for instead if you needed to. So, just quickly then, this channel has just hit over 90,000 subscribers, what I'm over the moon about. So I've decided to do a giveaway and one lucky subscriber when we get over 100,000 subscribers will get their hands on this. It is an iPhone 12 Pro in Pacific Blue. So when we get over 100,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving this away to one lucky subscriber. So make sure you're a subscriber and hit that bell notification to get some more details. And I'm also going to give you a few more details how you can enter to possibly get your hands on this later on in this video. So stay tuned. For release date of the MacBook Pro 14 inch, we are looking towards the second half of 2021 around the September and October time. It is most likely we'll see updates to the iPad Pro and the iPad Mini in the first half of 2021, first before any updates to the Macs. But check out my iPad videos on my channel for more information about this. For price wise we expect a slight increase on the price as we do have a brand new design model with some spec changes so we believe it will get around about a $100 price increase on the MacBook Pro 13 inch what is available right now. So the baseline 14 inch MacBook Pro would start at $1,399 US dollars and this would give you the standard M1 chipset inside with 8GB of RAM and also 512 gigabytes of storage space. So just quickly already, that iPhone 12 Pro giveaway that I mentioned earlier, to be in the chance to get your hands possibly on that iPhone 12 Pro, I would love to know from you guys, do you own a Mac at the moment or maybe you own a Windows computer or maybe you're looking to get a Mac in the future? I would love to know what models you currently have of Windows or Macs and what you're planning to buy in the future. With the new 14 inch MacBook Pro coming out next year, will it be on your list to buy? Let me know in the comments below and when we get over 100,000 subscribers I will announce who the lucky winner is of this giveaway but make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell to find out if you are going to be that lucky winner. So just a quick recap of what to expect of new Macs over the next year or so. So following the Mac Mini, MacBook Air and the 13 inch MacBook Pro as mentioned earlier, Lee Kamin Chi Ku believes the next Mac to gain an Apple Silicon processor will be the MacBook Pro 16 inch and that will be going along with the 14 inch MacBook Pro. Those Macs are unlikely to be updated until mid 2021 though. Ku also suggests that these new MacBook Pros won't ship until until the second quarter of 2021 or even possibly the third quarter of 2021 just as I mentioned earlier. If you are wondering where the Mac desktops figure up into this line, Ku has made no announcements relating to Apple's plans transitioning desktop Macs such as the iMac to M1. 
With the iMacs just updated with Intel processors in August time, it doesn't seem likely we'll get an update on these Macs for a while. So it seems likely the iMac won't see an Apple Silicon processor inside it until the end of 2021 or even 2022. Ku is usually accurate. He said back in March 2024, before Apple announced a transition from Intel, that the new ARM-based Mac could arrive before the end of 2020, and he was definitely right. So, are you excited about the new Silicon 14-inch MacBook Pro line, and will you be getting one soon after launch? Let me know what model you'd like to get, or what you're planning on getting in the future. Well guys, that is the latest and greatest we have on the 14 inch MacBook Pro silicon line at this stage. If we get any more news, of course we will share it with you. Don't forget if you have liked this video to press the like button and of course to hear the latest gaming news, tech news, reviews and comparisons, please do hit that subscribe button followed by the bell. Until next time guys, see ya!